Come on. Hey guys, I am getting ready to go to a fall party type of deal tonight. So I thought I would film a chatty kind of get ready with me. I haven't been vlogging for a few weeks, so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to kind of just talk to you guys. I haven't been vlogging, not because I don't want to, I am gonna vlog, but I did sell my vlog camera and I'm gonna get a new one and I've just, I haven't gotten a new one yet. So that's why I haven't been vlogging. But I thought since I do have somewhere to go tonight, well, potentially, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go yet or not because I don't really wanna put on real clothes and they're not really having good snacks. <laughs> So when it's those two things, when I have to put on like real clothes, aka like jeans or like a bra and a shirt, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of out at that point. Um, but then on top of that, if they're not having good snacks, I just can't support something that doesn't have good snacks, you know? But I thought just in case I went, I would just kind of film me getting ready, kind of show you guys an easy, simple fall makeup look. To start, I've already primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. For foundation, I'm gonna use my Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. Mine's in the shade Light. I like this foundation a lot because it's very, very light coverage. And I really, really love light coverage. My perfect type of look, or the look that I wear the majority of the time, I guess, because I do sometimes go all out, full glam, like full face, full coverage, foundation and concealer and stuff, but my favorite kind of look is just a really simple, glowy. I like the focus to be more on my skin most days than my makeup. I really love for my skin to look really glowy and fresh and pretty. So a lot of times I really love to wear really light coverage foundations when my skin's looking nice, but obviously like I have a little friend here and one here. We're just gonna ignore those. For my brows today, I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Essence Make Me Brow off camera. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I'm not sold on this concealer. Comment down below if you've used this and you like it. I don't know what to think about it because the smell of this concealer is so strong and it's not something that's just been like going away when I put other products over it or when my makeup's done or once I've worn it for a little while. I feel like it smells strong the whole time and I feel like it creases quite a bit under my eyes so I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep this or if I'm gonna return it and get something else. So comment down below if you've used this because that smell is so interesting to me. It's not a bad smell. It's like a feminine type of smell. I don't even know how to explain it. I just don't love it at all. I straightened my hair today. I always wear my hair like naturally curly, like literally 90% of the time now. And when I straighten it, I just, I look so different. I used to love my hair straight and now every time I do it, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> this is another reason why I don't straighten it is because it will be like stick straight and then in no time it has like waves and it's a hot mess so that's what happens when you have curly hair also i don't know if you can see it or not i have on my bridal hoodie that my mom got me <laughs> when we got engaged next before i set my face i'm gonna use the anastasia liquid glow you guys i am obsessed with this stuff this is like one of my favorite products i found in a really long time i love it for these simple makeup looks it looks so good over bare skin it looks good over foundation. Most of the time recently, even for date nights and stuff, I've just been doing concealer under the eyes, one shadow on the eyes, brows, mascara, and then this liquid highlight. And it looks so pretty even when I don't have makeup on. It just looks like a really natural glow to your skin. I love this product. I'm serious. I have not found a product I love this much in a really long time. And I have the Cover FX drops and I really like those too. They're like crazy intense. But this is a little bit larger than those and it's like half the price and I love this stuff. It just gives the skin like a really natural glow where it looks like your skin is just really pretty. I'm all about having pretty skin. Speaking of skin, my skin has been so weird recently. My skin's been breaking out and then it has been so dry and usually my skin is like normal, sometimes combo, sometimes it'll be like a little bit dry, sometimes it'll be oily, but usually my skin is pretty normal and it has been so dry that I've literally had like flakes coming off of my skin, especially in this area on both sides. It's been so dry. I'm gonna grab my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. I go lightly over my whole face. I don't really know how this is gonna match. I just self-tanned last night, so it's probably gonna be a little bit light. I know I probably don't look self-tanned, but this is, this is tan for me. I'm just gonna lightly set my whole face. Recently, I haven't even been setting my concealer when I go out. When I do that look where it's just concealer, brows, 
mascara, one eyeshadow, and liquid glow. Like I have not even been setting my concealer. That's how simple and easy my look has been recently and I have been obsessed with it. I love it. I love super simple makeup. I think that that will always be my favorite. Sometimes it's really fun to do the full glam, you know, but a lot of times I just want a natural look or I don't want to wear a lot or I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Sometimes I really enjoy doing those darker, more full glam type of looks, but if I could only pick one look, it would be a simple look, hands down. I'm going to grab my Tartlet and Bloom palette and just dip into this really light top shade up here that's pretty much a white and just set my eyelids a little bit more with that just so they're really matte. I want to do a fall lip with just really matte simple eyes. I'm not even going to put any shadow on after this. I just want them to be bare so that the attention is on the mascara and then the fall lip. So since I haven't been vlogging for what? Probably three or four weeks now I feel like. There has been a lot going on you guys. There's a lot coming up. It's not like public news yet but you guys will find out soon, not too long. I know that's annoying. I always hate when people do that because I'm like, why are you doing that? Like then people just want to know. But I really do want you guys to be getting excited because something really exciting is happening in the Munzer household. I'm not pregnant, but it is really exciting and we're really looking forward to it. So I will share that with you guys soon. It's not really like public news yet, but it will be shortly. So you will know when it is. Next, I'm not gonna contour. I'm just gonna bronze. I'm gonna use a matte bronzer today. This is actually a contour powder by Sephora. It's in Los Cabos. And I'm just gonna really lightly bronze. I don't really need to bronze that much because I did self tan, but I am gonna put a little bit of this matte bronzer. I usually use this to contour, but it is a really pretty matte bronzer shade as well because it's kind of that in between, like when you don't have another warmer bronzer on top of it, you can't really tell that it's a contour shade, but when you compare it to like the bronzer that I normally use, you can tell that it's cooler, so it makes for like a really good contour shade, but it's actually really good for bronzer as well. So what is new with you guys? Comment down below, let me know what's been going on, if there's anything you wanna share. Also comment down below if you are like me and you really have to think about if you really wanna go somewhere when it requires like normal clothes and be away from home. I'm such a homebody. So comment down below and let me know if you're like that or not. I know some people like love being out all the time and love getting out and doing stuff and that is just not me. Like sometimes I wanna get out and I'll have stuff that I want to do but I feel like when I get out like I want to have a plan of what I need to do like I don't want to just get out to get out I don't know does that make sense I'm just a homebody you guys I am such a homebody I love being at home I love just being in comfortable clothes all day I love this fall weather it has been so nice this week in like the 60s so I've just been like curling up in the chair in the afternoon with a blanket and some coffee protein bar for like my afternoon meal at like 3 or 3 30 and just like enjoying this weather it's so nice it's so nice okay so I just added a little bit more of that liquid glow on top just because when I set it it kind of got lost a little bit and I don't want to put a powder highlight on top of it I don't think I've ever put it over a powder product before because I've literally been wearing like nothing like I said but that actually applied like really really nicely over powder and it kind of intensified it a little bit oh, these are so pretty if you need a new highlight or if you just want a new highlight or if you want to try out like a more liquid highlight oh my gosh these Anastasia liquid highlights are awesome and I feel like for high-end makeup especially compared to the cover FX drops I think those are like 45 which is absolutely insane I mean there's a ton of product in there because a little bit goes a very long way so it will last like forever but those are super glittery too and this is not like that at all and this is like five more milliliters than the cover FX and these were only like 24 or 25 dollars and same thing like a little bit goes a long way so you get this whole tube and it's gonna last a really long time I like that a lot Next, I'm gonna do some mascara. I'm gonna put on the Tarte Tardis Mascara. What do you guys like to do in the fall? Like, what's something that you really, really enjoy? When I was a kid, we always went to this apple orchard. They've always had, like, fresh honey, and they have apple cider slushes, which is, like, they are so good. So we would go, and we would go like not in the fall time too, like over the summer and stuff, but that was something fun that we'd do in the fall. I really love 
fires with s'mores. Not that we do that often because I love to be inside curled up on the couch in my comfy clothes, but I do like that about fall. I just love that now that the weather's a little bit cooler, at least for this week, that I can just open. I literally opened one window yesterday and it like cooled the whole place. And it feels so nice. I just feel like I'm getting fresher air when the windows are open and when the air is kind of like chilly. I just feel like the air feels really fresh. Is that just me? But what do you guys like to do in the fall? Do you guys have any family traditions or anything that you do like every year? We don't have a ton of like holiday based traditions. Not for fall time especially. Like we don't carve pumpkins every year or anything like that. At Christmas we do wear our pajamas all day. We as in Clay and I wear our pajamas all day and we make biscuits and gravy for breakfast. So that's a fun tradition that we have, but we don't really have any for fall. So if you have one for fall, something that you really like to do, comment down below. I want to know. I want to hear. I'm going to live my social life through you guys so that I can stay inside. Okay, so that is all of the face. I'm just going to finish the look by applying a liquid lipstick. This is like my favorite fall lip color. This is Kat Von D Lolita, and this is one of my favorite lipsticks ever, but I love it in the fall. Okay, so this is the completed look. It's really simple, but I love the look of really simple eyes with the focus being on mascara and on a really pretty fall lip. I think that this type of look for fall is so pretty. I've been wanting to do it for a while, so here it is. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see my even more simple look that I've been doing recently, let me know down below and I can film that. It's seriously so simple that it feels a little bit silly to film it, but if you're someone that doesn't wear a lot of makeup or you're someone that wants more of a natural makeup routine or makeup look idea, then let me know and I'll do it because I've been absolutely loving it. But I love this look. I love that the eyes are completely bare with just the mascara and the lip. I think it's so pretty. So now I'm going to try to decide if I am actually going to go to this fall thing or not. It starts literally right now, so I need to kind of make up my mind and decide if I'm going to go or not. So I'm going to go weigh the pros and cons of putting on real clothes versus staying home in comfy clothes. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and remember you are beautiful, you're a blessing, and I'm so thankful for you. Bye. And I asked you guys on Instagram which video you wanted to see first, Clay doing my makeup or another fall makeup tutorial, and you guys were all about Clay doing my makeup. So that's what we're doing today.